What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now then, this one's going to be a little bit different. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I just need to put it out there. Now, I just want to start off by saying I mean no unsavory thoughts to any individual, and this video is not aimed at anyone in particular. Now then, the main problem that I have with other YouTubers is when they decide to become lazy. Now, like I said, this isn't aimed at anyone in particular, but there are a few different car channels out there. Now, I am targeting this at other car channels like myself, other car channels out there, when they grow to a certain amount, they seem to get very, very lazy and their videos tend to differ to what they first started out to create. Now then, I'm all for people growing. I'm all for people making bigger and better videos with bigger production value because as you grow, that's what you're going to do. You're going to spend more money on your videos. But if you start your YouTube channel to help people, to help people work on their cars, to help people save money on their cars, and then you just completely switch to throw in loads of money at videos driving Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, and you really just do not add any value to your videos, you've really just gone past the point of caring about your viewers. At that point, you're just making videos for views. You don't care about whether or not you help anyone. You're just thinking, what is the video that is gonna get the most amount of views? That is the video that I'm going to make and I don't care about what anyone else thinks. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people who review these fast, exotic, amazing cars. Like for example, Living Life Fast. You know, Ricky has pretty much always done car reviews since he started his channel. He hasn't started his channel, you know, claiming that he is a master mechanic. He always says that, you know, he really doesn't know much, um, you know, about repairing cars and maintaining them and whatever else. And he, he generally gets other people to do the work. And that's all well and good, but you know, his channel is more of an entertainment channel. It's not a channel that you watch where you know, you're going to really gain much knowledge out of it. You know, his videos are very entertaining. You know, you watch his videos for the, you know, biggest and best car, you know, the next highest modified car. And, um, you know, that's all well and good. You know, he's, he's got a great YouTube channel. But there are too many YouTubers now that are thinking, oh, these are just easy videos to make. These are going to get a lot of views. So I'm just going to make those videos. When in the beginning, they started out wanting to help people, but they've got to a certain point where all they want to do is help themselves. Now then, I'm not saying that my YouTube channel is the best. Don't get me wrong. There are a million other better channels out there. My production value is pretty poor, but I believe that I can add value in other areas. Now, for example, if I am going to do a modification or if I am going to perform a maintenance task on my car, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability and I'm going to try and explain it as best as possible because I really don't see the point in making a video of you doing a mod or, you know, making some changes to your car if you're not going to explain how to do it. In my opinion, that's just being lazy. I don't see the point in watching a time lapse of someone installing a new spoiler to the car without them even explaining how to do it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just enjoy helping people and maybe that's the reason that I actually do YouTube first and foremost. You know, don't get me wrong, I do not do YouTube for the money if i was to do it for the money i'd be pretty foolish because you do not make a whole lot from youtube you know if i worked it out the time that i put into youtube some of the videos that i shoot edit and upload the time that you put into it is really not worth the money that you earn from it so with that being said if a video is going to take 
you know, 12 hours to film, but it means that I can add a good value level to it. I can fully explain what I've done and other people can watch that, follow along and do the same for their car, then that is all well and good. It's all worth it. And at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. I don't think that you should start a YouTube channel in the thinking that you're going to become a millionaire and you're going to drive around fast cars all day. But yeah, I guess this is just my two cents on how I feel that some YouTube channels are going and um, I just don't think it's right. I think that the channels that tend to go down that path are going to lose a lot of their original subscribers, their original viewers and yeah, a lot of people have just sold out and they just want the quick views and the quick cash. But um, that is not what I'm all about here. Like I said, not the greatest channel in the world. You don't have to watch me, but this is just my opinion. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. So please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.